Great. And thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, no problem. You guys just let me know when you have questions. I'm going to mute myself right now. Okay. One second. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Okay, can you guys view this? Okay, so um, this is like some of the work that I included in my college portfolio from LaGuardia. So this one was an acrylic painting I did um, during- can you, can you put it on slideshow mode so it will screen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, on the right side, next to where right. I just share. Oh, oh, so sorry. Okay. No, it's okay. There you're go. good. You're good. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. So this one was an acrylic painting I did in um, AP Art with Miss Park. Um, so this was like a still life that I did. I like kind of like gathered some random objects around that I could find and like kind of like use that as a way to like um create this and I think it's like like really important to like also include your like technical skills in like your college portfolio instead of just like these like abstract ideas and it should also like kind of show what kind of skills you hold as an artist okay and then this one I also did with Ms. Park in my um, AP art studio. So this was um, also another still life I did of my bathroom at home and um, kind of like the process or like the idea of this was to um, use a lot of like muted colors in order to like um, highlight, even though it's like a white bathroom to highlight like the kind of reflections there are caused by light. So that's why I did. Um, the next one, it was kind of like um, an independent, like, like study model that I had done. Um, like, I think during the summer, but it also like kind of, um, I use it later on in my like future works as a reference for other art. Um, so I basically created this um, collage out of like leftover scrap material that I could find and kind of like just put them to create like three dimensional forms. So I really want to like discover since I was applying as an architecture major, I wanted to like also not just use like 2D art, but also like incorporate like models and like that kind of stuff in order to show like my range of like abilities that I kind of have. Um, so this one, I believe I did this my senior year. Um, I think in Miss Curiali's painting class. Um, so I basically used the last paper structure as a like resource to like interpret it as like a different like kind of work in like two dimensional art because I'm not so keen on like doing sculptures and like stuff like that like it was fairly new to me like especially in high school I think I like leaned more towards like like either like ink um, pencil, like that kind of stuff. Um, so I used, like, I incorporated some of like the work, like these kind of creases and like forms into my like other work. And I used um, like a photo I took on vacation. Like when I went to Korea, I like used this, um, this waterfall that I visited 
so it like kind of contrasts the idea of like this very structured like form and then this like organic like environment so yeah i just wanted to like highlight that um so these are like my sketchbook and study drawings that i did throughout high school like um i wasn't too like good at keeping up with um with my sketchbook i think i'm like kind of like messy with it so it's kind of like scattered all over the place so this was like a reimagined subway station so i used like mixed media materials and it was like collage with cardboard and i think um like discovering like different materials and like textures is really important especially if you want to like apply as someone in architecture because um they kind of like seeing that discovery process um so i basically found that this um like these ridges like from the underside of a cardboard kind of reminded me of like when I visited Korea and like the roofing on a lot of like the traditional buildings. And I wanted to kind of like incorporate that into like my own like idea of home. So because like in high school, I took the subway a lot, of course. Um, so I wanted to kind of like incorporate like these two, like this modern and traditional and like kind of my own heritage and like culture into um, this piece of work. So this is just like, like a small sketch, like a study for um, my sketchbook. This one I did senior year with Miss um, Curiali. I did this as like a texture exercise. She had us like kind of um, focus on line work and like line making and she kind of like it kind of reminded me of like she would give us instructions and we kind of had the freedom to like go where we wanted but still like adhere to some kind of like structure or like like kind of lesson so this is like good if, like for discovering like different kind of patterns and stuff like that and you'll see like if you do apply as an architecture major, there is like this um, ongoing theme of like using patterns and like geometric and organic like shapes in order to create form and stuff like that, especially like in your future work. Um, this was a mixed media collage that I created also my senior year. Um, I submitted this as one of my pieces for my, like after my college portfolio, I had like another interview kind of thing for college where they wanted to see like um, kind of more updated work and like what I was working on currently. So I used a lot of scraps I could find. Um, you can see like these pins and I just wanted to like incorporate like different textures. I think um, I recycled like a painting I did with Miss Park and I just kind of like ripped it up and used it like as a like base for this. And um, a lot of it was just like abstract work. I wanted to discover like contrasting materials again. And yeah, so. And these are like my current works that I um, have done throughout my freshman year of college. It was kind of like, it was kind of difficult so to like edit. So I didn't really edit my photos all that well, but um, so this is a section of a holiday house in Chile that I had done for one of my um, seminars in architecture. So we had to like kind of rebuild the same, like this architectural work that we had liked and 
it was like an in detail seminar. So you like kind of focus on like architectures, like openings, like doors, like windows, like stairs, that kind of stuff. And then I kind of focused on like the paneling of this um, house in Chile. So it's basically like, um, like a beach house and all of like the facade of the building is like covered in like 72 doors that open outward. These don't really function, but it's just like kind of focusing on like the paneling and craftsmanship of like the um, house. And this last one was my studio final that I had to do. So basically the background for this was like, we had to create like a pavilion that would incite some kind of like action or play. So it was like a lot of, this is the final, but like there's like a lot of process projects leading up to it, kind of like discovering like, how do we translate like the human body into this structure and like, kind of like how we, how like people fit into like these like structures and how we're supposed to navigate. So basically um, we had chosen like a form of play, like either climbing, running, dancing, that kind of stuff. And then we wanted to incite that um, into our structure. So, we had um, we had gone to like a museum that was like known for like kids to play around in, and it was just like a lot of abstract like structures that would like incite this idea of play. So where I had placed my model, kind of like in a skate park, so you can kind of see that I tried to like also use. Um, orthogonal and like a lot of linear elements to create this um like curve over here to kind of reflect the site that it's built upon so yeah that's basically what I have for um what I've done so far so great thank you so much yeah no um, problem let me find out what kind of questions I have for you yeah. Any questions? What material did you make that last sculpture that you just showed us? Um, I used a lot of balsa wood. So balsa yeah, wood. it's really yeah. thin, lightweight. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Other questions? You want to come and talk to her? Yeah. Um, at your school, how often? Right <laughs> Sorry. How often do you work like in teams or like in studio groups when working on projects, or is it mostly like independent? I think in my first semester, it was um, during fall semester. It was mainly independent work, but like throughout studio, like as you know, like there's a lot of collaboration, kind of like talking to people by your desk, getting critiques. Um, but for my spring semester, it was like generally more group work. So we kind of like did have partners and then it would be like, an example was like, you would receive like another fellow student was your client. And then they would like tell you what they want in their structure, or it would be like, working with another person's drawing and like interchanging them and trying to like incorporate them in your own work. So yeah. Do they teach or so far have you gone to do any like anything that was digitally rendered like using any programs or it's been mostly like you know? yeah for sure. I think um I didn't really take that many like digital classes in LaGuardia. So it was definitely like a learning curve when coming to college. Um so we use like Rhino for um, a lot of our digital work. So it's like a 3D modeling kind of um, software that we use. And then there's like a lot of Photoshop, like after you take your photos and Illustrator in order to edit and kind of like render all your things. 
yeah. Thank you. Your work is really cool. Thank you. Any other questions? No? Um, Kaylee, I just want to thank you so much for your time. And yeah, no problem. Thanks for preparing everything. Um, I think we already, do we already have your slide shelf link? My, share that with kids. And of course we have the recording of this, which is so awesome. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Okay, great. So you guys want to say goodbye? Bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank have a great you. rest of the semester. You too. Okay, bye-bye.